have to eat out. Now what do I do? So you know I was a road warrior when I did sales and I still am in sales. But when I was living in Los Angeles, I was always on the road in the traffic. What can you do to continue to lose weight when you're on that weight loss journey, but you have to eat out and you can't always eat at home. And I know it's not always realistic to bring food with you, especially if it's during the times of excessive heat or a situation where you just can't store the food properly in your car. I'm going to stick to talking about some of the places that I go to when I know I cannot have an option to eat in or eat something from home. Stay tuned. Okay, so my first recommendation for where do I go when I'm in a time crunch and I maybe have 15, 20 minutes max to eat something before I get into my next appointment at work. Well that would be grocery stores, almost any grocery store. But in particular, I will stick to the ones that I've gone to, which would be Albertsons, Vons, and let's see, uh, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. When it comes to these grocery stores, and they are all over America, at least, I'm not so sure overseas, but I think you have a lot of grocery stores that are very similar. The ones that have a salad bar, or they have a deli, which is a live person there that will actually make you your food and what you're looking to do. At the grocery store, what I would do is grab a salad, either it's pre-packaged and something that they just made fresh that day, or I would have them make a salad for me if I'm going to also get a sandwich. When you get a sandwich, you can tell them what you want on it. And for me, I would do maybe a little mayonnaise and some uh, mustard with a turkey sandwich or a salami sandwich or you know a beef sandwich even. You just have to look at the grade of deli meats that they have and try to stick to with the highest quality as possible. Whole Foods, you have such a wide selection for lunch that it's just a no-brainer to lose weight there. I get a huge salad. That's what I always start with. Fill up my container with a huge salad of mixed greens. Then I would put maybe a little bit of fruit in there, like maybe some raspberries, I maybe some raisins. It all depends how I felt that day because I've been there on numerous occasions where multiple times in the same week, so I change it up a little bit. Whole Foods had the best salad bar that I've seen in any grocery store across America. So the choices are just unlimited. There's no reason that you cannot still lose weight by picking the right foods that are healthy for you. And if you wanna to stick to your macros, which is your fat, your protein, and carbs, the carbs is mainly vegetables, and that's where you wanna go with it when you're trying to lose weight. At Whole Foods, you wanna get some bread, and you need something to grab and go, you need to pick it up and eat it, or maybe you're sitting in a car, because I've done that many, many, many times that I sit in the parking lot of a grocery store and eat my lunch and then go on to my appointment. With the sandwich, you wanna hold something that's just quick. And I know you're having bread, but you can be very, very healthy in your choice in how you make your sandwich. So just add a lot of vegetables to it, you know, a lot of lettuce, tomatoes, onions, just in case you're talking to people, you may not need the onions, but maybe pickles, uh, peppers, I add that on, olives. These are great additional items to fill up the sandwich, those vegetables along with the protein. Second recommendation is when you have to go through a drive-thru and you have no choice and you need to just hit something that's the first thing you see before you have to get into that next meeting. McDonald's is most likely what you will see on a regular basis <laughs> on every corner, just like a liquor store or anything else. <laughs> um, but in McDonald's, people always say, hey, you know, what is the best choices? Maybe I should not do, uh, say, a burger. And you know what? That's the number one choice if you are still trying to lose weight. I get a double cheeseburger and I don't worry about the bread, I just eat it and I get a salad and that's it. You don't eat fries. Fries will kill your weight loss journey every time because it's high in carbs, 
It's the best. Trust me. I love, 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 love fries. And if I could eat it every day, I would. But I know that I'm going against my weight jo loss journey. I will gain the weight because of the frying and the oils that is put into that will totally kill anybody's weight loss diet. All right, so get the salad, get a burger, and if you don't want the cheese, that's fine too. But me, I'm a cheese eater, and so I want my fat, and I'm going to have that cheeseburger. Uh, when I do that with the salad, and I don't eat for the rest of the day, meaning intermittent fasting kicks in here, that's my one meal, and that's it, I still will lose weight. Try it. I mean, if you're in a bind and you can't eat at home, you're eating your one meal a day, have a cheeseburger or a burger and salad. That goes along for Wendy's or any of those burger joints that you have to enter. And then the very best ultimate way of having a burger is protein style, which you get that term from In-N-Out Burger. Yes, In-N-Out Burger is my favorite burger place. If you get an In-N-Out Burger and you happen to be lucky that you can get through a line, <laughs> then in and out, I get a double double with grilled onions, protein style, which is wrapped around with a beautiful amount of lettuce and tomato. No fries, no fries, no soda, no shakes, just water. Water, water, water. And if you're drinking tons of water, as you should be while you're intermittent fasting, then you are flushing through, as I like to feel like, I feel good that I'm flushing through <laughs> the junk food that I just consumed, but yet there was good food involved with that, which is salad. If you're going to a sit down restaurant and maybe you have to meet with a client or you just need to eat somewhere and you have a little bit of time, but you just don't have your own food from home, this is what I do. I went to Sammy's and I used to bring a lot of my clients there because I discovered that they are so good about doing a protein, which is fish, and I would eat the salmon there. And it's really, really good, guys, I promise you. And so uh, they would do a nice blackened salmon, put it on my salad. So there's a couple of choices with salad. So there, and one salad has the feta, and I can't remember the name that they give it, but it has the feta cheese in it and uh, maybe some walnuts. And I did that a couple of days in a row because I brought different clients there and I had to eat there. Every time, one meal a day, lost weight. And I can't tell you how good it feels to be able to eat out and still get to your goal that you were trying to reach in the first place. Try it out. Uh, you can go to Panera Bread, same thing. Have a great salad, maybe with chicken. And what they have available on a protein side and stick to that. Just be careful of any extra ingredients that may not work for your diet that you have chosen, meaning your meal plan. Just make sure that you have the items in there that you're looking for in the salad. Don't eat their carb meals such as mac and cheese and those things. Again, that will derail you from what you're trying to achieve. So those are some of my choices and recommendations is a great way to eat out but yet not feel guilty about eating those foods that may have those extra sauces in, they have a, you know extra uh, ingredients in that you would not put in when you're eating at home, right? So don't beat yourself up because you can still reach your goal, do it in the best way possible that is allowed in your environment. So the question of the day, what do you eat on the go when you have no choice but still lose weight? I love to know what it is or in your areas that I may not be aware of. Let me know what is working for you when you have to go out to eat. And just remember, caregiving begins with you. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>